Hey there everyone, my name is Andrew for Aurora Gameworks and welcome back to a new Unreal Engine 4 short tutorial. Today's video will be taking a look at scaling textures with material instances. Um, the texture that I have here is the stone cut brick from the, um, from the starter content pack. Um, here we have our example material which is what we have applied here to our static mesh. And first we're just going to go into here and we have our texture sample. Now, if we want to scale the texture, we want to come over here and type in uh, texture coordinate and then connect that up to the UV. And now, here in U and V tiling, we can access um, values that will change the scaling. Here, if you type in larger values, the uh, texture in the world will get smaller. So if I type in uh, 4 and then 4 and then we click apply and we save it you can now see that the stone cut uh, brick is much smaller than it was before or you can go and do it the other way around and go 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and now suddenly you'll have um, a really large texture for the stone cut brick. However, doing it this way is uh, slow and depending on your computer it might be really slow because of the shader compiling. Um, it's also really slow because if you're wanting to look for an exact size uh, for your texture, um, this is a really slow and a not very accurate way of doing it. And that's what we're going to fix here in this tutorial. So in your content browser where you have your, your uh, material, you want to right click and you want to create a material instance. And then we can go in here and we don't have any uh, functions or uh, parameters in here for us to play with yet to change the scaling. But if we come back into the material itself, uh, if we break this node, and while holding M, you click, we get a multiply, and then connect it up like that. And now, in here, we can set the scaling um, of our UV tiling with a scalable parameter. To do this, though, I would uh, recommend leaving the U and the V tiling on the, on the texture chord node um, just as one here. And then you can do the scaling off of the B node here. So to get our scalar parameter, you want to hold down the S key and click. And now we have our parameter and let's call it texture scale and then hook that up into B. And at the moment, the default value is at zero. So let's change that back to one. And everything is as it was before. But with the positive side, because we now apply and we save and now in our instance, in our parameter groups, we now have our texture scale and we can tick this and now we can access that on the fly. You need to change the material that the static mesh has set from the normal material to the material instance. And you can just grab the material instance and drag it on to the mesh itself. And now you see down here under details, materials, it's now set to the instance. So if we have our material instance window here and we have our parameter slider here, we can now change the scaling of it in real time, which is great if we want it to be an exact size and we want to do it quickly. Uh, this is also good because depending on what you're doing, you can now modify this value uh, during run uh, during runtime, like while you're actually in gameplay. So what's really cool with this is that now if you want to add in uh, even more details to your texture, like you have a normal map for instance, um, let's add in another texture sample and let's search for uh, stone, uh, yeah, stone cut and now we have the normal map for it. And we can hook that up into normal. 
And now all you need to do to make sure that the scaling between these stays the same is that you just grab off the same multiplier node and hook that into the UV here. And now once you've done that, we now have uh, a bit more depth in our material and you can apply that. And now when we go back to our instance and scale it, we now have the texture itself and the normal map to go with it scaling properly. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, short Unreal Engine tutorial on uh, scaling textures for static meshes. Um, if you have any questions, uh, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this. I've been Andrew for Aurora Gameworks and thank you for watching. Take care guys.